Hey everyone, welcome back to your part tutorial. So today I'm going to tell you how we can concatenate the multiple rows into ones. So you can see here in the sheet one, I have a data at two places. So Smith is reflected here in the at two places, and it have a different data that is Q and W. What I want is that this should be concatenated with the separator. So this will the result will look like this: Smith with the P code A, and the, this get concatenated. Similar way. You can see the same also. So this can also get concatenated. The, their data is R and T. So this can be done through the link. So I am just removing this. Just open the UI path. Just use the read range activity inside Excel application scope, and just create one duty sheet one as output. And assign activity. Just take I enumerable. So you can browse it from here. I enumerable. You have to select collection dot generic, and just select the type. If it's object, select. Click on the OK. So all recreated. I have already created. So I'm not going to create it again. Now, if you see to the right side, I've used the link queue. So link the link query I've used here. Let me just explain it again. As I explained it in the last video, also from P in DT sheet one as I name rebel, containing alias name, go P by object P, so object P is containing the P dot item dot first and P dot item dot P code. So these are the headers of the sheet one. You can see first and P code, sheet one, first and P code. So the headers. So now we have, now we we have uh, all the key all the key values inside the object p now using the end into mg equals to group you have to use this syntax now to select new width then dot first object p dot p first so whatever we are going to create we're giving the name here it will going to reflect here so object dot p dot p first and i'm going to place it in the first so one more thing whatever you will going to give the name here dot first it will going to reflect in the sheet too so here it will going to so this is basically the headers it will going to reflect it in the sheet too same way for the p code also and for the data concatenate for data concatenate we are using the string dot join here and we're giving the col column name that is data here so as we want to concatenate these records, so giving the column name here. So here we are, we are, we use the group by condition on the two columns first and the P code, as the data will be similar for me here. If I want to do it for one, I can do it for one also. It depends upon the requirement what you really want to do. then what you can do is this is the string str result the right side i've used string dot join it's divided into two parts basically so this part will going to give you the headers and this part will going to give you the uh, the values so it looks like this will be the data and the enumerable this query will going to give the result in this way and this query will going to give the result in this way and at the end we are going to merging both so we are getting the result of, of both string dot join into str results now just use generate data table just pass this str result here and in data create one new dt sheet to data table now what you will do is just use the right range activity and pass dt sheet to oh this is it and you can run into the code you will see the output so let me show you the output also you can see so data of smith get concatenated with a separate slash so in this way we can concatenate the data in the link 
thanks for watching the video bye bye